So a very shortened video this week because I'm going to direct you to the video of Gwyneth Griffith Honey, who spent an amazing week here in Brittany last week. And I was fortunate enough to have Griff come out with me for the day. We did a tour of all the apiaries, a tour of the honey house that is in the process of uh, being completed, as you know, and he's produced a great video which is going live about now. And you'll be able to see all the action. I didn't really have time to film much myself because we were so busy yapping the whole time. And I ended up with a sore throat at the end of the day. So what I've decided to do is give you a very sneak peek of what we did, but you can see the whole video on Griff's YouTube channel, Gwyneth Griffith Honey, where they do beekeeping farming, countryside living, and they do reviews as well. <laughs> in my best Welsh accent. But anyway, we had an amazing time. Here's a clip, a preview of what you can expect. It's a great video. It's about an hour and 10 minutes long, but I tell you it's worth it because we do a lot of coverage in it and we've got lots of great things to show. Releasing queens, pulling honey, um, general chats, lots of views of the apiaries uh, all around my, my apiaries and also the honey house. So I hope you enjoy it. Follow the link at the top of the video. I'll put it up there and you can uh, see all of that. In the meantime, I'm just soldiering on with uh, the pulling honey as well, myself on my own, and vaping and doing everything to get the end of the season done. But I've got some other good news I'm going to share with you next week. But it's all good and this part of the building will be progressing very soon. So I'm very, very excited about that and uh, lots coming up in the future. Take care, enjoy the video, follow the link. Tadi bye. So this is my special guest. Welcome Gwyneth Griffin Honey. Griff Rees from Wales has come down to see my honey house for see the day. my good friend, Richard Noel. <laughs> <laughs> so can you do your intro for me? Uh, beekeeper farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> that, that, he's, he's it's, genu <laughs> it's genuinely him, because only one person could do that. So here we have the thing that does the business. This is the 54 frame extractor, which I have extra bits to add on to here. This is just temporary for now because obviously I'm planning the floor, but that's virtually done now. I'm just ready to concrete in. Wow, three that big tube. I know. Three inch or four inch I tube know. there. And there's two sieves on this either side. So that sieves a lot of the honey out as well. And you get most of the wax out by that. And then it pumps from there by this pump up the pump into your barrel. That's what I wanted because I'm used to dealing with barrels. So. This is the type of setup I'd like to have. Maybe not the full line because I've got multiple different size frames. But, Maybe. But definitely uh, the, the way you've done this with the, the way the pallets come in all on wheels, on polished concrete, into a warm room. The warm room is literally in the same building you're extracting. You know. Cheers. So I put those two hives to be robbed out yesterday and they're robbing them out nicely, look. <laughs> Lord of nukes. The, the hives. So these hives are all clean, right? Because I've checked these before. We won't go into them without a smoker and that, but then, they, you know, because don't forget, a lot of these bees are actually older bees still from previous colonies, but they're buckfast queens. They're starting to change their bees now. You see the treatments are in. Yeah, Apivada's in. Apivada's in, that's good, that's working, that's doing its thing. And then um, nice and quiet, we earn all veils um, on. So I've got Mini Plus, as you can see. Mini Plus are a halfway house when you're raising queens. It means you can use a small amount of bees to get a colony going and you don't have to use a lot of resources to do it. What I've just noticed is the bees, I don't know if you can see it, but they're actually working the bramble. I think the bramble are quite high in sugar this year because we had some sun and some moisture and there's nothing else around. So I think they're actually taking a little bit of the fruit and the juice from the fruit. Nice full boxes here, Rich. Yeah, they are. They're really good. 
whole apiary is good actually. Uh, so this is the one I haven't taken nukes from. So we're gonna make some uh, shook swarms with my Mini Plus and there's plenty of resources to put in that nuke first of all to get them going. Cause I'll just take a frame or two from each colony and then uh, I've got all these to use. So they've got honey on. They're not all full of honey like all of them, but there's some honey as well. So I've got one of the jab prod hornet traps here that you guys in the UK might be interested in seeing. And this is one that's pretty selective because a lot of the insects can get out through this grill. So this Another nice sight, Rich. It is, yeah. A little bit open to the wind on the west side, but no, no, no apiary is perfect. Wow. So this is the Val de Ardenon, Ardenon River, and the river that runs in it. You always get that one. Oh, nice, nice sight. Yeah, another good one, this one. Can, be, can really yield well in certain years, and farmers do so buckwheat around here as well. So you sometimes get the tail end of that. Oh, bumpy. This is where the wild boar have come back again and this was dug the, it all This up. was that site? This was that site, yeah. Yeah. Another lovely site. In the middle of a wooded area. And over there. Let's look at some of this mic drop. I'd be interested to see what it's like. First time I've looked in these hives since. Hopefully we're not going to see too much, but... Well, all of that there is all chestnut and we've just passed an apiary that's that. So I get, when I have my hives here in the summer, when the chestnut's in mid-June to mid-July, for all these trees here that are all basically giving chestnut. The whole place is chestnut city. The apiary I call chestnut land is there. Maybe the ivy is given in some places, right? It could be, it could have started. Sometimes while well, we are early, nearly early September. Well, there's the ivy here, look at it. That's not close to being out, but it's not going to be long before that's out. There may be some that is. Yeah. So it's not that then? No, I don't think, not that, not that particular one, but you can go to different shrubs, but... Still, it's good to be here and check everything's all right. Another... This lovely, lovely part of the world. It is, it's beautiful. And I've had bees here all winter that survived. Look at the amount of bees in that colony. That's a big colony. Some big colonies here. And these are big dead and hives as well. They are, I know. Much, much bigger than National. Not a single hornet again, Rich. I'm... This was one I filmed just over here, and there was literally a cloud of hornets in front of each one of these hives. And one of them did survive. This one, it overwintered, okay, but the rest were all dead eyed. I think six out of the eight here were, were killed. Or was it seven out of the eight? So there's a, definitely one that was alive, but only one. Open to see Asian hornets. We've seen like three. Yep. And every time I go there to try and grab it, it's surprising how fast, it, it almost looks as if once the hornet knows you're filming it or fiddling with it, it goes. Got a lovely fall too for you, didn't. Much bigger than our nationals. Pick that up mate and see how heavy it is. Go and get you some work. Ooh, not there. That's how heavy a box would be. She's in the cage. Let's get her out. She's in there. So we're just going to undo this. We fold the door back. We just put it back in and she'll self-release within a few hours, probably in the next 10, 15 minutes, and then she'll just go off and lay. And there's, I can say this other frame next door, look, there's no brood, just perfect place for the queen to lay. Look at that, nice bees. All those frames have been cleaned out while she's been caged. Here we are on the buckwheat site. Not a bad crop here, looks like. Not bad, uh, it's one of the better ones of my other apiaries. This year's pretty poor summer honey, uh, like many people in the UK, very full back. Oh, honey. There's a fair bit there, it's a good harvest here. Fair good, bit. Good supers. And what hit me extracting or pulling this honey was, you could smell the buckwheat honey, smell just like the honey you gave me last year. I know. Oh yeah. 
What a great experience. Oh. That is so strong, that is. Mm. That's way stronger than when you get it in the pot. I don't know why, but that is like, woo! It's addicting, and it's really strong. Eating raw buckwheat honey <coughs> from the field. Well, you can't get fresh on that boy's back. Ah, well. oh, 10 out of 10. There's a uh, joke getting that in. Richard, thank you very much for today. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. If you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload news every week.